What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Space Hulk Ascension. In today's episode, we will apparently be sharpening our sword's edge, but first, level ups. Sticky Poo has gotten himself way more awesome. He's got wolf claws now, but I'm not sure I want to risk that. I have heard tremors through the whisperings of the force that the wolf claws are not necessarily so useful. I should probably up his toughness slightly, and then we'll save the rest of the points for the next time he levels up. Is he our highest level? Really? Huh. I don't feel like he's my highest level, but he is. If we take a look at him, I mean, our librarian's higher level. But he's our highest level, like, enlisted dude. Look at that handlebar mustache. That thing is gnarly. It's got a little girl's braids on his mouth. Like, it's just like, all the way. It looks like, it does. It looks like he ate a toddler or something. Like, the hair sticking out of his mouth. Brutal. Sharpen your sword edge. Secure a weapons cache and eliminate the gene stealer resistance. Of course we're going to take Squad Ask because they are my favoritos. Let's see here. I haven't used the motion detector yet. What is this? A proximity mine flamer. Teleport homer. A teleport unit. Power field generator. I kind of want to use the power field generator, but... Eh, we'll figure it out. That puts claws on both, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. And since the rules for power claws are not really explained that well. Well, it looks like you get plus 20% from each for both attack and defense. Which makes me wonder what the bonus is going to be for the Storm Shield and the Thunder Hammer. That seems like it would have to be even... Maybe it's going to be like a 40% defensive bonus and then like a 10% attack bonus or something. I don't know. We're going to have to figure out something to make the Thunder Hammer worth it, though. That's actually a pretty major boost, especially... If your toughness is already pretty high, so let's say that you've got that right there. I guess it gives you a 50-50. Yeah, so you get 50% plus 50% for both for your survival chances on top of whatever your basic chance to survive is, I guess. I'm going to save the extra two points because I don't know what willpower does. I've never taken a psychic attack from a broodlord, so I'm just going to assume it's not a problem right now. It will just plow forward. In the wake of the explosion, the, pa the captain has ordered a withdrawal to the secondary defensive positions in the lower levels of the Space Hulk. On the way, the Tech Marines identified what appears to be an Astra Militarium Armorium, full of weapons and ammunition. Your squad has been ordered to capture this chamber and secure as much ammunition and equipment as you can. Your armor's auspex array shows gene stealer activity in the area. Prepare for battle. Can't we, like, we should come up with some way to augment that. Like, maybe Space Marine drones or something that keep us from getting killed by by nasty little Tyranids. But at the same time, we've clearly got the equipment required in order to, like, see them. So now we just need to kind of expand it a little further and come up with a way to shoot them. So what am I looking at here? Oh, wow, that's way over there. Okay, so... Secure the armory. is The armory is one. Okay, so we need to haul then. Let's hustle as fast as we can. I'm going to get everybody going. I'm going to keep the flamethrower sort of in a central location, I guess. Where he can, like, handle stuff if it needs to be handled. There was no chests or anything here, were there? I don't see anything, but we'll figure it out. If we get there and we find out, we'll, we'll modify our behavior accordingly. Let's go ahead and get Stiggy. He's going to be up with the cap. We're going to have Kettle... Kettle, eh, I'll probably just have everybody file in, kind of, as we always do. And then we'll take odd little breaks whenever we need to stop things from happening. I'm going to have, maybe opening the door over here is not such a terrible idea on this turn. There we go. Let's find out. I was going to say, it seemed like they were going to get pretty close to us, but it's only one gene stealer. Like, eh. I mean, we may be able to walk up on him. I was going to say, we might be able to just, like, walk up and blast him in the face. Like, who cares? Probably put him right there. Leave him on the overwatch. If there was a lot of tables and low-lying furniture, I'd put him on underwatch. But we'll put him on overwatch for right now. Oh, we only have to kill 50... Are there only 50 gene stealers, or do we have to kill 50 gene stealers? I'm kind of wondering what the limiting reagent is here in this entire fun little mission. Oh, well. Close, we'll figure it out. They're going to try and flank from over here. I can almost tell you that's what's going to happen. We're going to block the first spawn right here. I'm going to really hope. I can't really see. It looks like there's maybe 
a way to maneuver around this way. I'm going to hope that we can just stay on these outer corridors and just like do our thing. I'm going to put a Marine right here. That's going to take him three. That is Stigner, of course. We'll have him attempt to shoot out the door, which I don't know if it'll work. Eh, we may not have to. I'll just leave him where he's at, and then we'll scoot everybody else forward. And if they try to come from this direction, we'll flame them out. But for right now, we've got more than enough clearance in order to make this work. We've got bullets right there, so let's reload that. We'll get you going and end the turn. Hopefully, we don't end up with too many specials in here. Okay, so he's chewing through them pretty quickly. Whether or not he's going to be able to keep that going, though, remains to be seen. They're going to come straight through there. Which makes me wonder... There we go. So if I could get the... Whoa, what was that? That was weird. I mean, technically, I could have him just, like, drop a prime uh, proximity mine over here so you guys can see how it works, but it's a little bit tight for that. How many AP does he have? He's got three left. Good. Shoot him again. And so once they're out of the way, I'm going to step him over to here. Step him down to... Oh, what is that? That's one of the tendril-y ones. I forget what they do, but it's... Oh, yeah, they stun you. Oh, and he dodged twice. That's fun. Okay, well, we just have to hope that he doesn't run up on him at this point. He probably won't. He's got to make three shots, so it'll probably be fine. Over here, go ahead and reload that, and we'll keep things where they're at right now. Yeah, I was going to say, it'd be kind of amazing if he didn't get him. I would be surprised. I would be very, very surprised. Alright, as long as we don't have any of the nasty little pulley guys coming in here. We may want to double up on this room here. It might be a decent plan to split the troops slightly. That one's scything talons. Okay, so let's reload him. I'm going to start advancing him this way to a flank position. And I'm going to step him to here. From there, we will manipulate our points accordingly. There we go. That's what I was hoping would happen. That was exactly what I was hoping would happen. We'll set up a double overwatch right here because it looks like they're about to come in pretty hot and heavy, actually. Oh, I did not want that to happen. That was a misclick. I right-clicked, but for some reason it counted as a left-click. I don't think I left-clicked. I'm pretty sure I didn't use my index finger. Uh, that leaves him in a really, really nasty position, which means I may have to do something desperate right here. Something that I might not have done otherwise, although I can't really curve a flame around here like I would want to. Yeah, that worked okay. That worked decently well. And that allows him to become our spearhead, too. So if we can get a little bit of range on these guys, I think we'll be okay. Oh, unless they reroute. And specifically come after him. The enemy will fall me. Okay. Well. That's a little risky. That's an aggressive move right there. But. He's on overwatch. Yeah, he's not going to. Kettle might have a bad day right here. It is increasingly possible that Kettle may have a little bit of a nasty afternoon. I mean, he survived before, so we'll give him the benefit of the doubt for right now, but he's got to kill a lot of Gene Stealers, especially if they move from the back first, which is what I would do if I was playing the Gene Stealers. I'd move from the back first so that the closer ones have a better chance of getting by, but that's just me. That's just me. You step back to there just in case. All right. Have at the Gene Stealer. Yeah, then the next one might... Okay, so no, he's probably okay then. That little rush that they just tried to pull could have been really, really bad for us, but it turned out alright in the end. Okay, so he's jammed up. I'll go ahead and actually keep him where he's at for right now. 
Because for the mission's sake, we don't actually have to... Hmm... With an extra AP, I could double block. Which would be nice. Let me do that right here. There we go. The magical pink sword of glowitude. Everybody loves the pink sword of glowitude. Who doesn't love the pink sword of glowitude? Alright. So now we will advance everybody as necessary. I wish I could pull him back slightly, but he just doesn't have enough AP, unfortunately. He's got a frag mine. He could kind of like dig himself out if he wanted to, but it'll be okay. This position is the next one that I'm a tiny bit worried about, but he should be all right. I don't think they can move that far in this turn. The bow is the yeah, I was going to say. Oh, no, they did get an attack. Huh. Shows what I know. Probably almost got a double attack right there. That could have gone nastily. Oh, wow, there's a lot of spawns. Well, that is troublesome. In a lot of ways. Can I get you back to here for five? Eh. Might work out better doing that like that. There we go. And so we'll give him extra AP. So that he can be a bamf over here and just kind of hang out and make sure nobody else dies. On this side, I'm going to flame this door. So that if they try and come through it, it'll be broken, and they got to waste their AP to do that. These guys will all be sticking with it. On this side, we're going to have him start stepping backwards, and eventually he will rejoin this main force right here, hopefully, if he catches up in time. And I don't want to leave anybody behind, but I will. I'm, I'm not that sold. Can you turn around? Turn around, just in case. I'm actually a little bit worried they're going to run past him. All right. Well, he's only got, like, what, 10 bullets left? This might be a little bit close. Okay, so he used two on the first one. Then he jammed up on the second one. But the third one is going to go after that point right there, so pff, totally fine by me. Go ahead, beat your head against a wall all you would like, because I have a flamethrower, my friend. Well, you're not my friend, but I have a flamethrower. That's what I'm getting at here. Additionally, we will go ahead and fix him on up. They're all a long ways away, so this should go okay for us, I think. I'm going to have him go to there and flip around. And actually, let's give him an extra AP. I really prefer to give everybody one extra AP rather than do anything else crazy. That allows him to do that right there. These two are going to have a tough time of it unless he can get to here and then flame out this entire corridor from right here. It's going to be... It's going to be tough, but I think it's manageable. And if we can do it, it puts us in scoring distance. All right, so we got a lot of spawns blocked, but they have a lot of spawns still. So, fingers crossed. That's the sound of one of them getting crispy. Oh, wow. We just had, like, the biggest string of misses ever right there. That's pretty terrible. He actually, I think he missed five times in a row right there. He overheated almost on the first enemy, which is a nasty spot to be in. Definitely. I think he... We're going to have to do something very, very aggressive right here if we want this to work. But I think we're in a position to do it. Oop, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Yeah, there it is. So let's bathe the Xenos in fire. Maybe even double shooting. Just to guarantee, because he could have ran that corner right there is what I was worried about. So I'm trying to make sure that that doesn't happen. Then we shall step forward... Hopefully I can't shoot my own guys in the back because that would be a disappointment. And that should dig our librarian out of his nasty little ditch that he's been stuck in. They're all going to burn to death in there. And hopefully we have a fruitful turn in which the enemy has a lot of trouble recovering. I hope. 
Okay, good. Good, good, good. Not so bad at all. Step him back one more time. We'll have him overwatch and reload for a little more heat dissipation. On this side... I think I might actually have him confuse the enemy a little bit. No, 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 no. That'll open up this spawn right here, so I kind of have to leave him where he's at. However, I could move to here. And then on the next turn, swing them backwards. While at the same time... Is there like a vent right there, or what's going on? Like, how are they supposed to get at me from that side? There's got to be some way. I have my doubts that it would be completely impassable. Targets. I'm just going to have to cover him, just in case it is passable somehow. Although it doesn't look like it, so we might do okay. Give a long fire over here. Very nice. And that should leave us... I really don't like that right there, and I don't know where it is. It doesn't look like there's a floor right there. But it's very difficult to tell. Several reviewers have mentioned that the game is too dark, and I agree with this assessment. It's actually quite difficult to figure out what you're even looking at from the map view. I don't think there's a way in over there that I can see. I think this is actually right next to the armory, so that you've got to defend it a little bit longer once you get in there, I think. Yes, my lord. So... It leaves these two in kind of a weird position where they're double blocking. And I would definitely rather have somebody like Eeyore double blocking this right here. Sorry about that. I'm an idiot and forgot to close my browser in the background. I've been stressing out like all day. Like seriously, most stressful day ever for me. I, I do not deal well with pressure. I, I don't know if you at all realize that as of right now, but pressure is not really. When you apply pressure to me, you don't get diamonds. You get farts. That's You get farts and or belches. Something comes out where it's not supposed to. I don't know what I should be doing with these two. I may bring Eeyore back around. It'll kind of depend what the AI decides to do right here. My guess is that once we activate this right here, they're going to come from, there's like a door or something over here that they're all going to flood out over. Some fun little group of shenanigans. There you go. Take your freebie shot, man. Take your freebie shot. Get him. There it is. Very nice. So... Will that block both of those if I leave him right there? Oh, it will. It look Well, maybe. Let's find out. Moving. Hold on. Oh, he can. He can double block. Well, that's good. I'm just going to have him double block then. And then maybe leave somebody block this one so he doesn't get flanked off. But, I mean, meh. I bet he'll be okay. As long as he just, like, chills right there. I might have Eeyore step back to right here then. I mean, for right now, I can't have him do it, but I can get him sort of into position to do it on the next turn. So we don't have any weird hangover turns or anything. Alright, so Gene Steelers are in a weird spot right there where I don't know if I can flamethrower them properly. There's like a technique to it, and if you don't do it, your gunny gets kind of angry with you. It's, it's a space marine thing. I mean, part of me wants to double flame right here, and then we could just step forward with aggression. He can reload on this turn, actually. Yeah, he can, but he'll reload on the next turn. That leaves these two available to go that way. I don't know how we're going to deal with this right here, but if we secure the armor, we should win automatically, right? Because we've already killed a ton of Gene Stealers, so one would assume anyways. All right. Let's biggity bounce. I feel like the Ultramarine missions are A, a lot shorter, and B, a lot easier than some of the other playthroughs that you could possibly get. I'm actually going to have him step to right here. Moving to target coordinates. And then my goal 
is to have Stigner work his magic right there. Meanwhile, the captain will come back. These two will block this hole right here so that he doesn't get any friends from behind. You will make those every now and again when you're in a prison-like situation, but you have to know the proper technique for dealing with new special friends from behind. And ending the turn, we should be able to whack several of these guys. I'm hoping that they don't reinforce really, really heavily, which is what my big terror was. I think... Is there a, even a door right there? What is, so that only goes that way, then. Okay, well, you guys go over here, then. You turn Z corner. I'll bring him over here, and we can leave him on overwatch if we get lucky about this. He doesn't have a whole lot of AP, but maybe it'll work. Hopefully we won't have to worry about any weirdness. Alright, so we got that, we got that. The only, they can get around from right there and right there. In fact, they could do it simultaneously if they wanted to. But let's just hope that they don't want it enough. Did they not spawn anything that turn? Oh, well. Sucks to be them. It's not going to stop me from advancing. With one more AP, I could technically spawn block both these, but this corner looks a little dangerous. I'm going to line people up for a better turn next time. Captain should be fine right there. He's not a captain. He's a librarian. But you all know what I mean, kids. You all know. Don't. Let's not slow for pedantry. Let's not slow. It's okay. How come they're not spawning? Oh, did we kill them all? That would be a nice change. Like, I don't want to be that guy who's like, we got this by the ass, because we know how that worked out in Dawn of the Dead. But, let's just get down here and secure this thing. I'm pretty sure we killed them all. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. I'm going to go for it, but I think we're finished. I... I thought that that was going to activate after we secured the armory already. And that would have made this nasty, because look how surrounded you are. You would have had to put, like, a flame guy right here to flame it out on the same turn. Maybe have, like, I don't even know, a double overwatch in here facing this way, possibly. And even then, it would have been nasty. There we go. And so, there it is. Another mission completed. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Space Hulk Ascension. I will allow you the honor, noble friends, to watch my XP reel run. Because I feel like ending the episode too early, before you get to see who gets what, is kind of messed up. I like our team right now. Our team is doing pretty well. It looks like Kettle got himself a level up, which is super awesome because that means he's our second level 5. I haven't given anybody claws yet because I hate melee in Space Hulk. It just worries me. And so I try not to do melee because even if you have a 98% chance to hit, if you miss, you die instantly. And that adds a whole new level of lethality to the situation that I simply just kind of don't like to tempt myself with. I'm going to give him some toughness so that he survives a little bit better. And then we're going to break the episode off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for the next episode. I forgot what I was talking about of Space Hulk Ascension. I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care, everybody, and hi-do.